Right, hello folks, welcome back to the channel. Um, so in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at a rig that I use quite a lot. It's called the Trident Hangover uh, running rig. So it's a running ledger rig using the Trident Hangover system. Um, and I really like the rig, it's great for targeting bigger fish. Um, and I'm just gonna show you how to make it. So recently I purchased some Trident bits. So this is the hangover system here. And what it is, in a sense, is a little clip which is there um, followed by a series of other components which we'll show you in a second to create um, a clip that runs up to be able to clip your line over to have a longer longer snood ideally on the rig <clears throat> so I ordered my system from Trident the colours they do at the moment are grey and white which are there and um, we're going to look at the other components that you need to make the rig and then we're going to construct and build the rig um, so you guys will know how to do it yourself Right, so the components you're going to need to make this rig are a rig body, which is here. I'm using the Slinky by Gardner, uh, 80 pound main line. You're going to need an, uh, um, a hook snood, so we're going to go for this Amnesia 25 pounds. Obviously, you can alter that and change that as you decide. Now you're going to need a weight clip, two beads, two swivels, a hook, and then you're going to need a Trident hangover system, which you'll need to purchase from them in this pack, which is here. Right, let's crack on and make the rig. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start by taking my main line, which is here, and I'm going to cut out 600 millimetres. Which is around about there. I work in millimetres, guys, so I do apologise for any of you guys that use other measurements. Um, but you can just convert it if you need to. Right, so I'm just going to move my main line out of the way which is there and put that over there right so i've got my piece of main line which is here what i'm going to do to start with is i'm going to take one of the swivels and i'm going to attach it to the to the line at one end so i'm just going to feed the line through the eye of the swivel twist the line up five times poke it back through the hole nearest the bottom of the swivel moisten that now I'm going to use a knot puller which is here this is a great bit of kit hook it through the eye of the swivel and then just slowly pull my knot down and that will singe nice and tight there absolutely awesome right the next bit I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the other end and cut the line just in a diagonal proportion which is there okay. I'm going to come to my Trident Hangover Kit. I'm going to take out the following components. I'm going to take out one spring. One of the plastic Trident Hangover Clips, which is there. And it also comes with little crimps, so we're going to take one crimp out as well. which is there. Right, so we've got a swivel at the top. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to slide out on our hangover. And what you need to do is you need to make sure that the hangover is facing that way. If you put it on the wrong way, it won't work. There's also a diagram on the back of the pack which will show you the right way to put it on. Once that's on, I'm just going to take the spring, put the spring on next. Then I'm going to take the crimp, place that on as well, like so. <clears throat> so you should end up with that. You should end up with a hangover, a spring and a crimp. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make our running part of the rig. So we're going to put one bead on followed by our weight clip, slide them down the main line, followed by our bead, and then we're going to finish the rig by tying a swivel onto the other end. Right, 
make sure we wet the line to prevent any friction or line burn. And then we're just going to use our knot puller and pull that down nice and tight. Trim off any tag ends. And there you have it. So there's our main line there. What we're going to do now is we're going to crimp the crimp in place. And then I'll make the hook link and show you how the rig essentially works. Right, so I've got my crimping pliers here. If you don't have crimping pliers, you can use something like a um, long nose set of pliers or something like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to crimp the small crimp quite near to the top of the rig. Like I said, it doesn't really matter where we crimp it because because the weight is free running, which allows us to make the snoods um, you know, wh whatever length we want really to be fair, as long as we don't go really crazy. Right, so that's there. That's the main rig body. So we've got the swivel at the top, hangover, spring and crimp. Then we've got our running system here, followed by a swivel at the bottom. Right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make our hook link section. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off by taking a piece of the amnesia snood line here. Um, I'm gonna measure that out around about 800. So we'll measure that. Just for the sake of the video today, like I said, you can make these whatever length you want. Should all work out pretty good, as long as you don't go too crazy. I, I reckon 800 is you know, re relatively nice long, long bit of line, and it's gonna be away from the lead. So what I'm gonna do, um, I'm going to, you can either directly tie this straight onto the swivel, which is what I'm gonna to do today. So the swivel at the bottom, which is the opposite end to the hangover, we're gonna tie the line straight onto, just using a six turn blood knot. Pulling the line nice and tight, and then cutting off the, the tag end there. All right, so there's our length of line attached to the rig. We're now going to take our hook of choice and tie that on also, again using the same knots. If you are new to fishing, there's some knots on the channel underneath shorts. So if you want to learn how to make your own rigs and you tie your own knots, check it out there and you'll be able to see some of the simple knots that we use. Right, so there's the rig in all its entirety. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clip on a lead. I like to use these breakaway leads and it will all become apparent once we go forward. So we're gonna clip the breakaway lead onto the running part of the line, which will be like that. Your hook snood length will then come up from the bottom. And because it's on a running system, which is here, it allows us to retie on the hook line <clears throat> if it becomes frayed or abrade or any abrasion happens or anything like that. So this is much easier to do on a tripod, but I'm going to try and do it here for you guys now just to clip it out, show you what it looks like. So the line goes up and over the hangover there, and then the hook comes back down and clips on the lead there. Once in the cast, the tension of the cast will pull the spring nice and tight, as you can see there. And it's all streamlined behind the lead, which is there. Once on ejection, it hits the water, the lead will pop, and you will have a nice long flowing trace away from the lead at the bottom there. If a fish takes it, the fish then has the ability to run without feeling friction from the lead because the lead is free running. Right, guys, so there you have it the Trident Hangover system, the Trident Hangover running rig. Absolutely fantastic rig. Definitely put it in your armory. And uh, I wish you every success going forward. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.